Greetings and welcome to Business Solutions After 2020 Pandemic. I'm your host, Darina Shine. I'm a business developer in Ohio that is both a national and international business consultant. I have been a developer for over 15 years and a civil servant for over 30 years. So today I'm going to share with you three important factors of understanding the grant process in 2021. Uh, Number one, to understand what is going on in the grant world in 2021, you must have an open mind. Number two, realize the grant process uh, application and its specific terminology when you're writing the grant. And number three, understand how to empower your business to be in the running for grants in 2021. So, Number one, to understand what is going on in the grant world. 2021 is a new way of looking at things. Everything's have, everything that we once knew has changed from taxes, the way we uh, promote ourselves in business, to the way that we even network. So there are so many different streams of opportunities that flow to the grant making pathway today that one can actually get sucked into the grant process hype. Please don't get sucked into the hype. Many grants are received by small businesses through the new PPP process and the SBA opportunity, which is a portal that you must either pay back a percentage or and another portion of it is written off. So we have to know what the terminologies and the rules and the guidelines are so that we can actually be seen as a grant opportunity in itself. And I'll explain that a little bit later. Um, Number two, we need to realize that the grant process is an application and has specific terms in its writing understanding. Like you have to understand what the grant process is all about before you apply for it. So you need to do what is known as looking at the pre-qualifications for the grant itself and realize that grants are like the lottery. Everyone can play. However, there are risks involved. And not only is everyone not going to win the grant, they're also going to have specific guidelines that they're going to have to follow. And people in many areas of business, be it for-profit, non-profit, sole proprietor, etc., think they can just apply for these funds available and the opportunity is going to allow them to win. So they need to realize that, you know, this is a process as well. And then having a close connection to the political arena around those that promote the mission of your project is most likely to get your application reviewed. And in many times, um, we need to know that 85% of applications are merely set aside or sometimes sold to another agency for stepping stones to help them run an even more successful business and lucrative business. So being very careful who you share your information with is very vital. While this is the basic beginning phases, applying for the grant is just the opening to pre-qualifying yourself. And then a person must have a significantly unique idea to be granted that most times are non-competitive within the areas in which the ideas stream. This is a wonderful time to believe in your skills, to promote a service in a world today that needs new unique ideas. Growing your business is the absolute key. And number three, understand how to empower your business to be in the running for grants in 2021. Businesses are centered around free money all over the place at this point. Knowing what your initial vision is can be the first beginning phases of what you're going to write. And if you are a, so let's use the example of being a school teacher that is teaching to intern a group of at-risk youth. You hold a unique key. Not a lot of that is being done right now. One thing to be considered is the vision you can share 
information that will fulfill a problem important enough to create a storyline. Create the story. Once the story has been created, we want to understand why this idea is important to you, who's going to benefit from this idea, how the benefit will be will present itself, and when the vision will take flight. So we want to know how these kids are going to be helped. We're going to want a discussion of why you feel this is important, why this is a problem, and then how the benefit will present itself. So you want to know how you're going to take this step by step to do what it is you're saying you're going to do within this grant. And then when the vision will take flight, we need a date, we need a scheduled timeline. What is different about your project is another big idea. Um, how different is it? Because if someone else's idea is different, guess what? They're the ones that will get the grant. So you got to ask yourself, why is this important? And how much will it cost is the main mission. Because if your budget is way over the extreme, then guess what? Um, you're not going to get the grant. If your grant is, or your application is under the uh, budget, they're going to say, well, they're not ready. You know, so they're going to give you different guidelines to follow. Really, really pay attention to that precursor. And so my advice to those who are considering to apply for a grant of any type is know the language, know the mission, know the purpose behind the organization, the foundation that is giving the money. Um, promote this vision in all of your documentation. Start out with the basic premise and run that premise through the entire Per, uh, project through the entire project and then have a backup plan that can assist you in financing your dream if something does not go as planned. Silent partners can be really good here. Um, it's very handy at this point. And know your grant writer. Make sure they understand the important facts relating to the deadlines, terms to consider when writing the grant, and the points of contact within the grant opportunity. So these are just a few ideas, very few ideas, regarding the process to writing a grant for your business, your scholarship, for or nonprofit practice. Good luck on your journey. And if you need more information, if you need more help, please allow me to assist you by inboxing me here or at scales to success LLC at gmail.com. We'll see you next time.